Topping your news at 4, part of I-74 is still shut down after a fatal crash earlier today. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sharon DeReek. It happened near Coal Valley. TV6's Chris Carter is back out there right now with the very latest details. Chris. Well, Sharon, within the last minute, actually, traffic here eastbound has started to move. They do have one lane open to allow the semis that have been on this road for several hours to finally start to go through. I'm going to step out of the way and show you what we are seeing here. This is the aftermath of this crash. One vehicle and two semis involved. You can see the debris spread across this ditch here. We're kind of by the scales on 280, about three miles east of the airport. And I want to uh, show you some video from earlier this afternoon when we were here this morning. This was what it looked like as crews descended on this area. What we know is that one of these semis, we don't know which one, was actually headed westbound, somehow lost control, veered across the highway. That's when the second semi hit that first semi and then a passenger car could not stop either and hit the other semi that was involved in the crash. We do know that there are fatalities in this accident. We don't know how many. We don't know the ages and we don't know the genders of those people. And as you can see here, as I was talking about those semis finally being able to get through the far left lane of 280 here just reopened about two minutes ago. Crews are still working to clear this crash here. We know that all of eastbound traffic is not being allowed on the highway. We saw a major backup on Route 6, which is the detour if you're headed eastbound, and I-80 if you're headed westbound. For now, live in Henry County, I'm Chris Carter. Back to you.